Hi everyone and welcome to lesson one of your lockdown learning um, this week, so, well for the next few weeks actually. So what we're going to do in this lesson is look at the muscular system. Now for all of these lessons, whether it be one, two, three or four, you're going to either need to download an interval timer onto your phone or you're going to need to watch it from the description because every exercise that you do during your fitness session is going to be 40 seconds on and 20 seconds off. So, what is the muscular system? Well, the muscular system allows us, obviously, our body to move. If we didn't have muscles pulling on bones, we wouldn't be able to move. And when we think about the muscular system, there's several key words that we need to think about. Muscles always work in pairs, okay? And one of the key words related to that is what we call an agonist. Now, the way I help to remember this is I think about if the muscles, it's called the agonist, it's gonna be an agony, so therefore it's got to be the working muscle. And the contrary to that is what we call the antagonist, that's the non-working muscle, often referred to as the relaxing muscle. And whenever we think about muscles working in pairs, there's always a fixator. That's the stabilising muscle. So if we were to think about the bicep curl and the upwards phase of a bicep curl, so as we lift our arm up here, our bicep is going to contract, that's the agonist. Our triceps is going to relax, that's the antagonist. And our fixator will be the muscle in our shoulder otherwise known as the deltoids. So, Miss Hunter, a couple of little exercises for you to do at this point, please. So, first thing we need to do are some butterfly kicks, okay? So, butterfly kicks work in our abdominal muscles, okay, and also the muscles in and surrounding our legs. Second exercise, stay there, Miss Hunter, you're going to do sit-ups, okay? Same sort of muscle groups being worked, abdominals, okay, your obliques at the side would also be worked in those two exercises. But moving on, thinking about the muscular system, whenever we exercise, it's going to be an increase in muscle, muscle temperature. So that's going to be a short-term effect of the muscular system. You get warmer, your muscle becomes more elastic, there's an increase in that temperature. Okay? And other things that we want to think about are, if we think about our leg muscles, we often refer to the lower leg as the calf. But the correct term for that is actually, you're not supposed to pronounce the C, but for the benefit of you being able to spell it correctly as part of the literacy drive, gastrocnemius. Okay, so gastroc, silent C, nemius. Okay, so two more exercises in this hunter. Some of these hopefully might work your legs and your gastroc nemius in particular. So box squats. Okay, so down, jump forwards, down again. Okay, working those legs, working the hamstrings, the quads, and the gastroc nemius as well. And side lunges, this please. Lovely stuff. Great stuff. Now, when we're obviously looking at this muscular system, there's going to be an increase in oxygen to the working muscle. Okay, our muscles need oxygen, that's their energy source um, for them to be able to work effectively. If there isn't enough oxygen to get to that particular muscle, if your body is working what's called anaerobically, there's going to be a nasty mild poison called lactic acid that's produced when we're not working with oxygen. Okay, and final thing for us to just briefly talk about whenever you exercise, you need to warm up. Right? Warm up on the muscular system will help that muscle to become more elastic, it'll increase its temperature, and then you're also going to cool down, again, returning the body to its pre exercise state. So, whenever you do any of these lockdown learning lessons, we need to make sure that we've done a quick pulse raiser, we've done some stretching, and then that we cool down, we do a little walk, and we do some more stretching to return our muscles, to return our body to its pre exercise state and prevent DOMS, delayed onset muscle soreness. So, Miss, with that in mind, final two, please. Can we do some plank taps? That'd be great. So down into plank position, and Miss just going to tap his shoulder again, working that core region, the obliques, the abdominals, um, and your final one, Miss, are curtsies. Okay, so more similar to a side lunge. All right, but moving and working the legs and muscles surrounding the hips. So that's lesson one of your lockdown learning. You've got lessons two, three, and four coming up, all looking at different uh, systems of the body. Um, make sure you do your quiz every time you've done your lesson and do the very best that you can. Hope you found that helpful and enjoy the rest of your day.